Hello guys and welcome to another interesting episode of Madrid My DNA, the home of everything Madridistas, as we discuss you through Real Madrid's latest and important update. Kickstarting with today's agenda, Real Madrid youngster Adagule has not asked to leave the club amid interest from several European heavyweights. We are going to be discussing you through that on this episode as we progress. And then shortly after that, we are going to quickly turn our attention to the next agenda of the day as Barcelona president says the club should ask Real Madrid clash to be replayed following that controversy. We are also going to be discussing you through that on this episode as we move further. So please stay tuned right up to the end. Do not forget to like and subscribe to this channel. Turn on your notification bells so you do not miss on our daily Real Madrid update. Azagule has been in the headlines in recent weeks with his future at Real Madrid a subject of intense speculations. Given that the 19 years old has found minutes extremely hard to come by, there have been several rumors that the young star could leave on loan in the summer, with there being no shortage of interest. Indeed, as reported previously, more than 10 clubs have shown an interest in taking Goulet on loan in the summer. At the same time, it has also been suggested that the Turkish prodigy himself has asked the club to let him leave in search of minutes. Now Fabrizio Romano has come forward with an update on the situation, stating that, contrary to reports, Adagule has not requested Real Madrid to sanction a departure for him in the summer. The Italian transfer expert acknowledges that several clubs have asked about signing the 19 years old on loan, but as of now, the player has not made any move from his end. Furthermore, Romano adds that any decision regarding Goulet will be made in June when the players camp and the club sit down, the discussion of the situation will begin. Speaking after Real Madrid, 3-2 win over Barcelona on Sunday night, manager Carlo Ancelotti suggested that Goulet will have more minutes in the weeks to come. Now, we will calmly evaluate everything. Goulet will now have the minutes he wants, said the manager. With only six games left to be played, in La Liga, the title is pretty much certain to come to the Santiago Bernabeu thanks to the Merengue's 11-point lead at the top of the La Liga standings. As such, Ancelotti could be open to rotating his troops more freely, paving the way for Goulet to play more. Real Madrid are slated to face Real Sociedad this coming Friday with an eye on the semi-finals first leg set to take place between Real Madrid and Bayern Munich next week in Germany at the Allianz Arena away from home. So rotating Goulet and putting him into the starting eleven is not a bad option for Carlo Ancelotti. It must also be noted that Goulet, when given the chance this season, has not disappointed. His lack of playtime is not as a result of his form but as a result of the highly competitive squad available for manager Carlo Ancelotti, with the likes of Jose Lu, Brian Diaz also fighting for his spot in the team. Goulet being just 18 years of age is seen as a prospect for the future at the club. So having discussed and concluded with that, we are going to quickly turn our attention to the next agenda of the day as Barcelona president says the club could ask Real Madrid clash to be replayed following the VAR controversy that took place on the night due to the lack of goal line technology. In a major statement, Barcelona president Juan Laporta has claimed that the club could push for a rematch against Real Madrid followed by the VAR controversies that took place on Sunday night. Real Madrid defeated Barcelona 3-2 at the Santiago Bernabeu on Sunday but there was a contentious moment in the first half which has sparked a lot of controversy. 
Lamin Yamal appeared to have diverted a corner from Rafinha into the Real Madrid goal with a clever flick by Real Madrid goalkeeper Andre Lunin managed to push the ball out before it completely crossed the line. With there being no conclusive evidence that the ball was not fully over the line and did not award the goal to Barcelona, sparking fury in the Catalan's camp. Manager Xavi and several other players hit out at the match officials after the game and now club president Juan Laporta has put out a statement saying that he wants the league to release all video files and audio recording pertaining to the call. There are tools like VAR that should help to have a fairer competition and not the other way around, he started. With this statement, I not only want to express Barcelona's dissatisfaction with the mismanagement of VAR that happened on Sunday night, but also I want to emphasize that even though it is a tool that has been with us for some time, it still causes confusion and contradictory standards depending on the matches and teams. And if there are still doubts about how matters was handled, Barcelona would ask for a rematch against Real Madrid, Laporta remarked. I inform you that we at FC Barcelona will immediately ask the technical committee and the Spanish Football Federation to provide us with all the images and audio recordings produced during the goal shot. If it is confirmed that there was a refereeing mistake in Lamin Yamal's goal on Sunday night, I do not rule out asking for El Clasico to be replayed. I want all the images and audio recordings. The Barcelona president also refused to roll out taking judicial measures if needed, saying, We will analyze the world match against Real Madrid. We will put in place any possibility to reverse the situation, including any judicial actions that may be necessary. We will go further. We will not roll out anything, the Barcelona president concluded. So I haven't discussed and concluded with that. We have come to the end of today's interesting episode. Thanks for following us right up to the end of this agenda. Please do not forget to like and subscribe to this channel. Turn on your notification bells so you do not miss on our daily Real Madrid update. See you next time and a very big Hala Madrid to us all.